Okay, so I I got a thing of what are the lessons that are needed to be learnt at each level of consciousness. Um, actually, Hawkins, I do recommend this. My teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins, has a book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, and the different dualities and tests that come up at each level of consciousness. Now, this is talked about in different spiritual literature and different things. It's like, you know, uh, you're clearing up the chakras, each in order, and the various lessons you have to learn uh, as you clear one chakra and the belief systems associated with that, and the next chakra, the power chakra, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, uh, the third eye, uh, or the levels of consciousness as you're going from the very low, the high density um, ego levels of consciousness where there's extreme levels of beliefs and compulsive disorders and obsessions and uh, and obsessive compulsive disorders and um, and uh, lack of morality uh, all uh, all the way up to um, enlightenment and, and nothingness. So what about all the different levels? Well, each level, um, you know, like at the gross levels, the, the feelings are the darkest and the thoughts are the most darkest and the compulsiveness and destructiveness and immorality is the darkest because it is um it is the absence of light um uh, is the absence of light and love so the more that there is thinking and the idea that the ego is real and that the identification with thoughts is one's life then uh the darker it is the ex darker the experience gets one usually goes into what's called um uh, extreme drama extreme up and downs uh like i i was a donut addict oh i don't i say that as a joke i was a sugar i was a food addict and um so it'd be like i'm feeling absolutely awful and suicidal but if i eat these donuts i'll feel very very happy for 10 seconds so it's this huge up and down and the projection that happiness is found in something external so it's like oh, if i just had more food and enough donuts and I could eat them non-stop, then um, this negative feeling I have would go away forever. So I just need an unlimited supply of sugar, or it could be alcohol, or it could be drugs or sex or whatever it is, or uh, or it could even be like people. I just need a lot of friends and people, then I'll, I'll feel okay. Or I need a lot of donuts, I'll feel okay. I need a lot of validation, I'll feel okay. I need a lot of alcohol, I'll feel okay. And uh, whatever it is. Um, and then you get the you get the thing that you've projected will give you that feeling of goodness, and it does. Uh, but you're in an addictive trap because you're chasing something that cannot give you lasting, everlasting happiness and freedom. So you go in these illusory traps, and they become very uh, compulsive. And because they they're based in lies, they usually lead to um, places which feel like hell and death, which is where I went to kidney failure and facing death. Um, so I don't recommend that. That, that's the lowest level of, when you're dying doing insane behavior that's the lowest level of consciousness you know and you get the most immoral behavior at those levels because there is no that the, the light and love and the consciousness of of god is not present so it's just ego insanity at those dark levels of consciousness you're on radio radio darkness basically uh, you're tuning into the collective darkest thoughts of humanity um so to transcend that to the next level up so you know you'd be probably be in shame and guilt you know those are the, that that's characterized to get out of shame and guilt well each thing has a lesson in it you know shame uh, I'm, I'm not worthy of living uh, and projecting that or probably uh, is it i'm not worthy to stay alive or should, is it that other people aren't worthy to be alive or should i kill everyone else or should i just kill myself you know both illusory ideas um or guilt you know i'm i'm so bad that i need to be punished uh god should punish me or can you punish me or can i punish myself so you can see these are uh, there there are certain lessons to be learned and to to be seen that they're illusions and they need to be surrendered and processed through whatever spiritual or therapeutic work to get to a higher level of consciousness the fallacy of those like shame and guilt is seen the emotions are processed and the belief systems are cancelled and you then transcend those those are the tests you know you're not you're not it's unlikely i mean everything's possible but it's unlikely you, you probably need to be working on those lessons just getting out the bug you know horrific emotions and stop drinking or, or donutting or whatever it is uh so those are the lessons at that level and then you go up um so you, um, you have the um 
uh, the lessons and the belief systems of fear. Uh, so you have to let go. <clears throat> like uh, if I had enough money in the bank, then I wouldn't need to be afraid. Is it, uh, it's, uh, that's an illusion. Uh, it's like if I let go of my beliefs around enough money in the bank and I got that love and peace and faith in God, uh, which is beyond thought, uh, that 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 will keep me safe. Uh, you know, that, that, I mean, fear, I should be afraid of fear and the belief systems of fear rather than you know, actually not. That's not a true statement because there is no fear in God. But um, so you see the there are certain um, lessons to be transcended and tests to be resolved and belief systems to be released and um, uh, emotions not to be identified with at that level. Then you've got what were the next levels for transcendence? Now, um, I mean, you know, there's different levels. I mean, you could say even cowardice is a level of consciousness in a certain way, metaphorical way. Like, um, okay, um, I can see the Jews are being sent into these gas chambers every day. And um, I think I'm just going to say nothing uh, because I don't think I need to say anything. Uh, and I'll, um, you know, I just pretend it's not happening. Uh, and uh, uh, so, you know, but actually, if if the scenario that's being orchestrated for me there would obviously be one, the universe is orchestrating a lesson like, Sabir, are you going to watch these people and children being gassed every day and say and do nothing and, and go to your deathbed and meet God afterwards? Or, or is is the lesson that's coming up here actually to say something, you know, um, even if it's the cost of my life or a prison or something. So th these can be very hard tests. Uh, Hawkins also says that sometimes, you know, if there's something horrific going on and you say nothing, you join the karma, you know, of, of the people who are guilty. So sometimes you don't have the option, you know, it's actually the wrong spiritual thing to do at a certain scenario, at a certain level of consciousness, not to say anything. So that can be the, the thing that's been resolved. You've got... Um, Okay, so you've got fear, you've got pride, you know, coming from a place of how great am I? Let me tell you how amazing I am and how important I am. And I'm more important than everyone else. And I know more than everyone else. So that's pride. And there are lessons to let go of the egotism of that and to dissolve the idea that there is a me that is better than anyone else. And the idea that there is anyone else um, and the fictitious beliefs that underpin that uh, then you've got um, so cur cur yes, courage and cowardice. Uh, well, actually, that was the duality that's being talked about. That can be at a certain level of con consciousness. Courage or cowardice, you know, courage to admit I'm I'm a donut addict, you know, and I need to seek God, you know, and not to be in denial. So or courage to say something when I seeing I'm seeing people being gassed in gas chambers. So different lessons at different levels of consciousness. Then you're getting to the more spiritual levels like acceptance. Can I just accept everything? Um, and then there's there's uh, then there is um, uh, there's uh, there's trying to learn love, but one is conditional. And then there's being unconditional love, love love no matter what, you know. Because like if you can, one of the things with all of these lessons at each level, like if you tell God uh, you're going to do this thing, like I'm going to master unconditional love. I just tell, you know, just expect the most unlovable people will come your way. Uh, that's just what's going to happen because you have to transcend the world and the tests of going from love to unconditional love. Like I love my dog, but uh, I don't love this guy because uh, he's unworthy of love for whatever reason. So that's a, so there's certain lessons and trans things that need to be resolved. And, and then there is the thing of like, you're feeling quite loving, but then there's the thing of like, who am I? You know, like for enlightenment, is there anyone that uh, is here? Uh, I, I, am I real? Do I exist? What's the truth of what I am? So you're now looking at resolving the lessons for for enlightenment. So that's a brief summary of uh, the things. And actually, it depends where you know. You, I would say that as a student, the the everything that's happening in your life is being orchestrated perfectly for you to give you lessons. And each lesson is an opportunity to, uh, I guess it's, I want to use nice words. Each lesson is an opportunity to get higher and to resolve a lesson, never to have to repeat it over and over again, or to go down. It's like snakes and ladders. Nope. I'm gonna, um, I'm not going to say no to the donuts. I'm going to have the donuts or um, whatever it is, or, 
I'm going to practice unconditional love, but there's one person I'm not going to I'm not going to forgive. So uh, in that way, you you fail the test there. You see, because it's like you're not going to master unconditional love if there's someone that's unforgivable. If you're at the level of enlightenment, um, like all my thoughts are meaningless. If one thought is meaningful, I'm not going to let go of this one thought that I'm going to keep as meaningful. Like uh, I don't know uh, what could be like money is meaningful. Any thoughts I have about money is meaningful, but all other thoughts, they mean nothing. Well, I'm not going to be enlightened because that one thought will preclude me mastering and transcending to, to enlightenment, you see. So that's um, that's a quick recap of um, different levels. I mean, there's, there's endless amounts of lessons. I mean, that's just a, a broad overview.